so the first step is after gathering all the equipments now you have to download a blink app application now let me show you where is the blink application in play store b l y n k so this is the blink application and you have to install this application now it's a free application but you need to pay for some components like buttons and all but it's very cheaper than the another application so what we will do is so here you can see you have to buy a energy balance to add that energy balance you need to pay some money so i bought 1000 energy for like 35 rupees right okay so what we will do is we will we are going to add a new project and we will be naming it as node mcu home switches Okay, so it's not allowing us we will be selecting the board we will be selecting node mcu and using wi-fi or using ethernet using usb gsm and i think you will be using wi-fi and dark and light so you can keep anything you want and we will say create okay so now they have sent an authentication token to my email address here you can see that so you just have to press ok and you will get an authentication email so what i have done is i have already configured a, a node mcu here and we'll be going to settings and here you can see is the authentication token so you can either email that authentication token or you can copy that authentication token so we will just copy that authentication token and we will just keep it aside so this is the step one to generate the authentication uh, token it's a very important step so now let's go towards the programming node mcu right so let's go to my pc
now we have uh, put after programming our node mcu we just have to put our node mcu like this now you can see that i have left a uh, line empty over here and on the top of this so just you just have to keep that line empty and now take your uh, jumper wires and what we are going to do is uh, the important thing is we are going to find a ground right so ground is like here we will be putting a ground over here and then we will be putting it over here so we will get a whole line of ground on the bottom of this breadboard right so first of all i'll be showing you using the led lights how it works and then i'll be going to show you using the relay so what we are going to do is we are we are just going to use two led lights so here are the two led lights uh, what you have to do is the long leg of the led should be put inside the pin number means either d0 d1 d2 till d10 whatever you like right and the short pin should be put on the ground right so on both the led let's try to do it so what i am going to do is we are going to keep the long leg in d6 and the short leg in ground right and the same way the long leg in d7 and short leg in d ground right so we are having two leds right now i'll be separating those led and what we are going to do is we are going to power this right so right now i'm not having any other source of power like power bank because it's not with me right now so what i'm going to do is i'm using my tablet as a power bank so i have put the otg cable and here it's powering my node mcu right so now here is the node mcu project in, in the tablet in blink application so what we are going to do is we will be just adding a new button right so button is over here okay so you will get a button just click on that and then select the pin number so we have kept one led in d6 so we'll be selecting d6 now let me show you properly here is the d6 continue and okay so there is an option for push or switch so we'll be using it as a switch and just press back button right and let's try single led you just have to press play button and you'll be able to see that so here is the led turned on right the d6 led is turned on turned off turned on turned off i'm sorry that uh, i'm not having the cable now this node mcu is connected to the hotspot of my mobile from which i'm recording and this tablet is connected to zigar now that's my brother's wi-fi hotspot device so this both devices are connected to different sources just i'm just using this power source from my tablet because i'm not having any any another power source i can use my phone also but that's fine right so you can control your uh, lights from anywhere around the world okay so now let me show you one more thing uh, there is an interesting thing what we will be doing is we will be just adding slider right so this slider uh, we will be setting it on pin 7 digital pin d7 right we have put an another led and we will be setting the value to 100 only right okay so the slider is ready now you cannot use this slider with the relays right so don't try to use that slider with relays you need some another equipments for controlling your home lights using the slider it means you can dim full that uh, lights so let's try to do it so okay so it's turned on let's increase some more power no okay so it's dim right we'll increase some more power some more power let me turn off the other lights so let me show you how it works so we'll be increasing the slider value so it's turned on now will be little increasing it little more so here you can see that the brightness of the led has increased now let's increase some more again the brightness has increased again has increased and this is the full brightness right 
so you can try it on your own from 0 to 100 or say 0 to 1000 but means it won't harm your led cause this node mcu is only powering out like 3.3 volts and it won't affect your led lights so that is how we have controlled our led now let me show you on off on off then the sliders okay so these sliders are available for only for leds you can't use it with your relay means if you are having a let me turn on the lights first so you cannot use this with your relay because these relays are having uh, input either one or zero right so either on or either off now let's try to configure it with our relay right so this relay needs a 5 volt power supply whereas this node mcu gives only 3.3 volt power supply so i have already ordered a power supply for this but it will take some time but this works means like three of the switches will work one of them won't work properly right so this is the ground uh, here it is mentioned that it's ground then input 4 input 3 input 2 input 1 and vcc vcc is the power supply so in this case we are going to use white as a vcc and white as a ground right now let's put another cables into it okay so now we have to find ground on this so here there is a ground and on its left there is a power supply so my power supply is going to 3v3 and ground is going to gnd right now let's just keep this aside we will be using d1 one so we will be using dz now let's use d1 as uh, input switch one so configure this now let's keep this aside and let's have my tablet on so we just have to remove this now we will be stopping this just click on that and use delete so this will be deleted and delete okay you can just change the pin pin also so we'll be adding a new button here's the button we'll be configuring it to d1 and be using switch let's use it as a push button right so you will be able to see what happens if we use a push button so d4 is a push button right now we will be just using our power supply from tablet right so here you can see that the led on the relay is turned on green led on the relay right so we will be just pressing play led is turned on so what we are going to this is d1 it's turned off right so in this relay uh, when the relay is on the led will be off and when the relay is off the led will be on right so let me show you that here is it so okay, so this is the first time so you won't be able to get precise uh, led notification right so the third one won't work because it's not configured properly it means it's not getting a proper power from the node mcu right so this is d1 okay, so you, uh, let me show you one more thing you can just click on this and you can change the name of the button so we will be using d1 d1 as the button name right so rest of them uh, you can change it on your own so let's play and let's try to turn it on so now switch one is on off on off off on off on off right yeah sometimes it works slow very slowly okay so this is the push button right so here you can see that we need to click that button then only the led will turn off means the switch will be get on as soon as we leave it the led will be again on so it is like that so we don't have to do anything means much more in this uh, the application is already ready uh, you just have to pay like 35 rupees for like 100, 100 credits, 1000 credits, sorry. And that's it. So I'll be posting all the links in the description. You can go and check it out. I'll be even posting the link of this application in the uh, description. The code will be there in the description. And please give a thumbs up if you like this video. And thank you for watching my videos, guys.